Before this video begins, I'd like to give a huge thanks to my channel members, who you can see on screen now. Become a member by hitting the join button and get your name here among other awards today. Hello there and welcome back to some more Forza Horizon 3. Today we'll continue on Let's Play. This is episode 22. In today's episode we are upgrading the Yara Valley Festival one final time and then we are going to see what comes happens, finish off Yara Valley uh, because we are almost done with this game. It's been about two weeks or so since we last played this. So yeah, as usual, we're very well organised here. So for the final time, the transition. Everything. Do we really have to leave? We don't have to leave yet, but we do have to at some point. We need to give the beautiful people of Australia their country back, probably. Anyways, uh, it is giving us the option of a bunch of classic race cars, and while that is a lovely idea, it's not the idea I'm going for. I want something a little bit more modern, and we're going to use uh, another car which doesn't appear in the next game, and also another British car, because Australian game. Uh, so, we're going to use the 1998 Aston Martin V8 Vantage V600. Got to admit, not one of my favourite Aston Martins. I'm not a huge fan of the way it looks, but uh, the actual specifications of this one are rather interesting, which we'll get into shortly. 342,000 credits, it's hardly a cheap vehicle, uh, but it will do. Pause that. Did I turn that off? Yeah, I did. Uh, the DLC, yeah, I'm going to do the DLC for all the Forza games in sort of one big collective clump at some point. It's starting with Horizon Rally and it will end with, I guess, Horizon Hot Wheels. Anyways, yes, this is the meat and potatoes of this car. This is the reason I like, well, I like the uh, mechanicals of this car. We have a V8 engine, but we also have twin superchargers, which is excellent. I love me a good supercharger. Also, the interior is beige, which is cool, and the actual things are on the seats. We haven't looked at Forza Vista yet, so I figured we'll have a quick look around this car. That's kind of cool. The power window button's on the seats. Ha! Huh. Yeah, overall though, pretty classy interior, although you can tell this is from the Ford era of Aston Martin because that is the steering wheel that you also see in the Fox Body Mustang. There you go. Anyways, I guess we will build uh, this thing up to mid S2, I'd say, would probably be quite good. We'll see how far up there we can get. I can imagine we could get fairly up there. 325s, 355s on the rear. Uh, we are not going to do anything aerodynamic-wise, because there's no real point. If we wanted to do an engine swap, it is the Audi V10 and the Lamborghini V10. Oh, Lamborghini V12, sorry. So that's all good fun. Race springs and dampers kind of ruins the ride of the Aston, but I don't mind that, so I'm just going to turn this down slightly. There we go. Right, uh, weight reduction. Yes, we need weight reduction. Yes, hello, uh, AK. That does turn that down, actually. Hold on, if I do that, and then that. Yes, this is a big boy Aston. It's a long car, big car. Uh, right, we did all the mechanical stuff. We will go ahead and do clutches, gearbox and stuff. Power we're probably not going to be wanting for too much in this car. So we should be okay in that regard. Just going to tweak with that slightly. Get that up to 76, there we go. 76, like the good Fallout game, am I right? Anyways, uh, superchargers, yes, we are going to want to upgrade that. I don't think we actually are going to be able to get into S2 particularly, which is something I was going to do. Welcome new member, Azza. Thank you very much for the channel and membership. Very much appreciated, as always. I'm the returning member there. Unfortunately, that does mean I need to do the intro thing again. So that's fun. If you want to become a member, we now have different tiers for the membership, which is interesting. So if you want to become a member but don't want to pay me four ninety nine a month, we have the uh, the one ninety nine option uh, where you get the emotes. Anyways, S two nine eleven reference to the Porsche, of course. Uh, that will do. Just to ruin your train of thoughts, yes. Well, you kind of did that. I get distracted by pretty big colours that come on the screen. All right. That's the Aston built up. There's the nice little panda like remote. Not, finished with this place yet, boss. not quite yet, no. I agree, Kyra. Uh, we've got some PR stunts. 
Oh, you get to keep the streaks. That's interesting. Is that all PR stunts? There's like four race events and then the, um, yeah, and everything's really spread out as usual. So I guess uh, we will start with the race event all the way over here and then we'll sort of work our way down. Of course, now that we've got the option to fast travel, we're going to be making... Oh, hello! Jesus Christ. Uh, hello, welcome to member The Moving Chicane from The Moving Chicane YouTube channel. I just want my name at the end of the credits, hell yeah. That... Fucking, that's gonna be an issue actually. I now need to. Because I, I changed the description to make it like slightly easier to comprehend, but now it's gonna be harder to uh, sort that one out. Alright, the North Plains Sprint is what we start off with, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's not do a championship. This is apparently a retro supercar. Apparently, the other retro supercars I have is this uh, Porsche 911 GT2 and a Lamborghini Countach. Interesting. I think the headlights are heated on this as well. I might have just caught that. I'm not sure if they actually are or not. I just that's what I think I saw. Well we got a couple of Lotuses, Ferrari GTO 288, the best rally car in the world. And it is raining, and I have a 965 horsepower Aston Martin. Alright, let's see how well this goes. Get pandered, hell yeah. Ripping panda. We get to find out later this year if that's still on the road or not. <laughs> because we get to check in on its annual MOT certificate. Woo. Exciting, exciting times. My driver tar's in a McLaren F1 GT, which is not quite accurate. Out of every car on this field, the 575 would be my choice. Because best Ferrari, in my opinion. And in the opinion of everyone, or should be. Because it's very pretty. It's also a proper Ferrari, not that mid-engine V8 bullshit. This is not a proper Aston Martin though, because it's, you know, not V12. Yeah, the V8 Vantages I'm not a huge fan of, although I think at this time the V8 Vantage would have been the sort of flagship car, because they're in the DB9, had a lesser engine, although that was until they stopped doing the V8 Vantage. Uh, which should not have been that long after this. I believe the V600 was the uh, the send-off car for this particular gen generation of Vantage. I'm not too well versed in this uh, Vantage. I certainly know this car did not exist uh, to get the new version of it come out. It sort of got dropped and then rebought in 04 when the Baby Aston came out. Which is a very cool car. Although not quite as cool as the uh, DB9. Best Ferrari is the 355. The 355's okay. It's, um... Yeah, I, I kind of it's like it. I like the wedgie shape. It's probably my favourite, the mid-engined Ferraris. I'm very weird when it comes to Ferraris, though. Like My favourites are the 575, which I love. I like the 355 a lot, but I really like the 612 Scalietti as well. And I know that's controversial as all buggery, because that car's supposed to not be very good looking, but I really like the way it looks, so... I don't know. I'm just attracted to it because its default colour in Forza 1 was blue. I used to really like blue as a colour. 360 Medina. That is a good car, actually. I like the 360 a lot. I prefer the 360 to the later 430, but the 430 Scuderia is also an excellent looking car. And then the other few I've never really been much a fan of. The 458, 488 never really did much to me. The F8 Tribute Tono, or whatever it's called now. Not much a fan of that one either. Also, the next song is batshit insane. Just want to point that out. 430 looks like a fish. Yeah, a lot of cars from that sort of era look like fishes. Jaguar XK, so on and so forth. It was kind of the uh, the thing. R390. Oh, there's an EV110. Everything's hustling for position in this race. Also, apparently... Oh, never mind. I thought the R390 was a C5 Corvette for a second. And I was going to say, that is not a retro supercar, I assure you. And we get to level 85. Hurrah. And we can get a ute. Ooh. We're not going to get the ute. Instead, we're going to get 100k, which is useful. Because this car did cost a lot of money. That probably pays for the upgrades in this car. 
I am a bit worried about how fast we're progressing the uh, the fans. Oh, just because it does take a while at this point, and also I have gone ahead. Oh, that's something I forgot to mention. I did go ahead and gold all the PR stunts, uh, just because I got bored in a stream at one point. So I thought, fuck it, may as well finish those off. Uh, and so I did. So that's how that happened. Right, uh, we don't have any more PR stunts up there, but we do have that race route, so we will go ahead and do that. Ooh, shit. New comment and what? Oh. I like it how they send me... Um, they send me an email saying when my channel's live streaming, which I've never really understood. We'll do Rule Britannia this time around. Cross country in this should be fun. I figure this has actually got heated headlights. That is interesting. It's also got gills on the side. Woo. But yeah, no, it is very boaty. I, the problem I have with this car is it just doesn't look very Aston Martin to me. Now, granted, you know, you got to remember my era of Aston Martin's DB7s and stuff like that. Is that... Never mind, I thought that was the, uh, the M3 from car, oh, the M3 from Pro Street put on the side of a, uh, XJ220, but it isn't, which is a shame, it should be. Okay, take two, because, um, unsurprisingly, rear-wheel drive, a thousand horsepower Aston does not deal well with dirt. Who would have guessed? Although, at least I know where I'm going this time around. The Russian, yeah, the Russian will come round again. I'm sort of tempted to wait for it to do that. Because I did that with the Diberti Jeep as well recently, because I can be asked to do the trial. I don't know which one I'm more phased by. Playground games or uh, the, the trial Jeep, because I don't like trials. Then again, I really don't like the uh, playground games. I've had to do them once, never again on that weird week where everything was a 100% completion award. That bullshit. Been so long since you played any Forza. By my count it's been about two months because e BTC, BT, ET, whatever it was called. ETCC. Oh, checkpoint's there. can barely see it with all the green and shit. Also, my hand's really fucking itchy. Because I'm allergic to poor people. Yes, fat boy square in heaven in the heaven is what we are doing. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's try that again. Also, relating to what you said earlier, I have no Venga Boys. I also can't remember what Venga Boys is. So you're getting no Venga Boys. It sounds gay, whatever it is. Oh, God! x 220 is doing a fucking... wheelie. Oh, fuck's sake. I've never told you how much I hate cross-country races. In, like... Don't get me wrong, some of them are fine, but I hate these ones that are here just to fuck you up and change direction constantly. I mean, in my defense, I've been playing full, uh, Modern Warfare, so that's my excuse. Playing Modern Warfare and sucking at Modern Warfare quite badly. Because, uh, that game's weird. I'm not gelling at the moment. Like, it's, I like it, I guess. Oh, boot! yeah, fuck that. I'd rather listen to my obscure demos. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I, I guess it's got a very Venga Boys title to uh, the album, considering it's called Mate Feed Kill Repeat. Which is something I live by, and that's why I do none of those things. Apart from killing.
Oh, fuck, I'm not being overtaken by the fucking Astra again. Last time you played Falls Horizon 4 was four months ago. To be fair, there's not... I, I'm seeing the um, the comment, you know, Horizon 4's dead and all the rest of it, and it's like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> the game's like a year old. You're allowed to be bored of a game after playing it for like a year. Just like I'm allowed to fucking throw this Xbox out the fucking window because this fucking voxel astronaut apparently can just bounce its merry way across fucking everything. Fuck off. Oh, you use rewind two minutes. Fuck you. I don't think I've actually gotten that comment in a long old while. I need to try and get that fucking jump exactly right. Carl's behind seasonal events. The problem is I don't mind it too much because I can carve out like an hour or so to play every week, but yeah, no, I, I get you. Also, my eye is like giving me issues. My fault, I shouldn't have been up until 6am yesterday. Chicane kept me awake playing COD. I get 8 XP for skills, wonderful. Yeah, not quite as an impressive as a run as the, uh, the first run was, but... You know, it got the job done. Yeah, I don't blame you, Luda. See, the issue we have now is I don't... I, I'm hoping I can get the XP required to unlock the next area from just doing this, but we might have to do some grinding for championships, which I'm not going to uh, do on camera. Uh, I do wear glasses, yes, I'm very blind. Very blind. I've actually got an eye test that I need to book at some point soon, but I have no fucking time. Cleaning the house while listening to you having a margin argument about people who don't like you rewinding constantly. Good times, hell yeah. While you've got weird jazz funk metal music in the background as well, because reasons. Let's do the 1990s collection. Woo. I don't know why I'm going for, like, different ones. Also, we've legitimately done three of the race, three out of four of the races straight off, but that's only because they're the closest thing to us. My heart tells you no wing, just where my hopes and dreams are going. Ooh, an escort. Oh, fuck, it's cross-country. <laughs> I was like, okay, cool, an escort. And then I was like, oh, it's another cross-country. Yay. Okay, take two, because I despise cross-country racing with a dirty, dirty passion. This really is just the land of bad cross-country racing. What the fuck is that? All right, anyways. I've made that reference three times, but I feel I need to get in the video, otherwise people will be like, oh, did you see what you driving so I was driving? And it's like, yeah, it's a piece of shit. Also, apparently this is a street race, cross-country race, because there's traffic in it. Ooh. Just to irritate me slightly more. Although it doesn't really make much of a difference. If I fail this time, though, I'm so even putting... I'm just going to go put all-wheel drive on it, because, you know. I kind of like the livery on that 22V. Very basic. It's good. It's like a good old fashioned homemade rally livery. I made one of those in Horizon 2 for a Civic. Pesky haulage. Don't ask me why it was called that. Although, ironically, that is actually a company name that has lived on. I think it was on the two ETCC cars I've used in like a small place. I don't know if it was on the most recent one. On a dog break? No, I'm back now. I had to do something quickly. Also allowed me to get some moisture on my hands so they stop being so fucking dry and awful. And so I can stop itching at it. Do, 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 do. 
like it was uh, quiet. Dashing through the valley in a fucking Aston Martin. I feel like I'm like on some Irish business trip now. I've just said dashing through the valley. As you know, it's a Welsh thing, isn't it? The valleys. Right, now we come up to this fuck awful section again where the AI are apparently massively quick. He says. Yeah, the Holden, which is apparently the best car at this. Despite the fact this race has literal, like, escort. RS Cosworths and Alpines and stuff in it. The the best rally car in this apparently is this HSV next to me. For reasons I don't quite understand. Not as good as the XJ220 from last time, but I don't think the uh, the take where we won was used or had the thing in it. Uh. Here's the thing. Don't get me wrong. Hello, Daniel. Um, don't get me wrong. I I get the game needs to be realistic, and I get if you get a jump slightly wrong, you should be penalised for it. But you know, I'm just not in the mood to deal with its bullshit. <laughs> if the car could stop bounce, I need. I know it's on race. Ah, there we go. Finally, actual fucking d see dirt roads. I can deal with just. I'm running out in dirt in the middle of fucking nowhere, I can't. Oh well, at least that means we don't have to put up with another one of those bastard cross-country races again for a little while, because we've got some PR stunts to do now. Ooh. Level 86. Option of a Ferrari F355 Burley Netta from this one. You get 15 grand instead, which is fine. And we get some more fans, which is good. We still need like two million of them to advance, so it'll be interesting to see if we can get those. Try and sneak the coffee under there. Yeah, I know Inferno, but still. I didn't think there'd be many cross-country races around here for some reason. Uh, speaking of cross-country stuff, there is a PR stunt there, which I think is some form of speed trap. If I can get on the dirt road, we'll find out. Yeah. Right, let's go. Let's see what we can do to this speed trap. Oh, it's a speed zone. Yeah, how fancy. Which we're probably going to get like one star on, but it's fine. If I need something to do the speed zone faster with, I'll just grab the Land Rover. I think dropping below 100 miles an hour there was a big mistake. Uh, Australian cars with four-wheel drive. They've made like crossovers and shit that have all-wheel drive. The Friedmont or whatever it's called that they have over there is. I think. Also, there's barn find around here. How many barn finds we got? There's two up there. Barns will probably deal with a bit more when we uh, go back into. What should we call it? <laughs> Sound like the meth heads in Kensington. Well, I mean they are from Iowa, which is basically, you know. PR stunts are a much more effective way of uh, getting fans, if you haven't realised, by the way. I don't think anyone's really amazed by that revelation, but it is true. Oh, I get to 175. There we go. I can take a two-star. Wow. Yeah. Daniel, have you got cod? <laughs> I mean, she came with smashing it yesterday. It actually didn't do as bad as you'd think for two racing game schmucks. Okay. 
posts Owen Wilson. Yeah, we had a right little weird party because we had like us, Chicane, or me, Chicane, and his friend, and like we was all just on completely different platforms. The wonders of COD in the modern age. It's just a shame Modern Warfare isn't a very good game. Oh, piss off! <laughs> Again, another. People say how much better Horizon 3 is to 4, I mean. The ghosting through PR stunts, hello. It's alright. It's. I need to get used to it. It's very weird. It's not very coddy, I'll be honest. It plays much more like a Battlefield game than anything else. It's alright, though. I got cheap, so I guess I'm. It might be better to come from this way. We'll see. Uh, no, they're not getting lazy. They've tried to advance it some more. It's just, I don't know. One step forward, two steps back in some places. And they've also had some weird decisions. Like, they decided the way the minimap works wasn't good enough now. I like the new weapon customization and shit though, that stuff's fun. Because it reminds me of Medal of Honor Warfighter, which I actually liked a lot. I'm probably like alone on that decision. So there's two PR stunts on this bit. Oh god, lots of dirt driving. Yay, I love the dirt. Did I... Did you get the feel from the cross country races? How much I loved the dirt. And I was so excited to go drive on more dirt. Dog fish rats and. There's a good full no win. Your cunting, Majesty. Bow before. Bow before the new channel member, Azza. And I, now I have more people to add to the credits. Thanks for your old generosity, though. I mean, I'm not complaining about adding it to the credits because it means more money, and I do like money. I like money a lot. Money pays for lots of nice things. Money can go next to, uh,. Project Big Rigs. Yes, become a channel member. Contribute towards Project Big Rigs. Wait, is the reverse light invisible on this car? Yeah. Nice. Alright, cool. Cunt Queen of England, oh yeah. Who needs Elizabeth? When you've got Azza. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I wouldn't say he's my protege. Protege implies that I give him good advice and he follows said advice. Don't over his rising. Come on, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on, that's got to be like a million points right there, instant three stars, come on. Ah oh, yeah, there you go. I told you they were amazed. Beautiful. Right, we need to get off the dirt a bit. Hit this up here. Oh no, that's an actual PS. Yeah, okay. So if we hit that PR stunt, grab these, and then we will come back around to those two, and then we'll be done. Ooh. That wasn't actually nearly as long as I was expecting it to be. 
No, but in fairness, I don't really have much advice to offer him. He sort of has his pulse on what he's doing, automation-wise. He's done the smart thing and split the challenges into multiple videos. Which is more views. In theory. If people are watching for the competitors, I don't know. I just watch for my car. I don't really care about what anyone else does. Oh, apparently the car doesn't spawn here. We don't get to see what it is. What are we getting? Maintain control of the Audi R8 V10 Plus at 150 miles per hour. I mean, that's what they are. They don't really have any unique platforms, particularly. Yeah, it's not that difficult. I, I can get why you might dislike it. I just don't think it's massively difficult. It's only going to take a few tries. It's a case of just keeping the car in a decent enough spot. That's not good enough. I don't think. There you go. See? Easy. Alright, there we go. Cool. Let's go. You're asking a meal for perfection. I don't know, I think I got it pretty spang on there. Haha. <laughs> People having no faith in me. No one rise today. There's only three more of those to do, thank God. I say that, they're not the worst ones. I don't really know what my least favourite challenge is in this game. PR stunt wise. I'm not much a fan of speed zones. That's just because traffic and stuff has a perfect grasp on where to spawn, i.e. in the most stupid places it can. Slidey. I wonder if three stars is uh, 150 on there. 155. Okay, that is possible. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Glamour puts the hood up. Nice. Hey, look, it's where the finale of the game happened. If I was smart, I would have ended the game there. <laughs> But now I decided we've got to do this the proper way. I hope this is a drift zone. I think it might be, although... Oh, it's down there. Right, I get you. Yeah, it's a drift zone. Cool, yo. See, drift zones I like, because drift zones are easy. When you don't do that. The key is third gear, I think, and just flooring it in this. And just sort of let the torque pull it around the corners. To an extent. The second gear might be needed at lower. Third gear, bit of handbrake, bit of second gear, you'll be alright. Do yourself a favour though, pick a dirt car if you're going to do this... Uh, Yara Valley stuff, because, yeah, I didn't. I thought this would be okay, considering, but apparently not. Oh, we did get three stars, though. Cool. I was a bit worried about that. I thought it was only going to be... I thought it was only going to be two star. Oh, boy! Another drift zone. I'd be lying if I said it wasn't what I wanted, but, you know. This is the most appalling way to do drift zones, by the way. It looks awful. Wow, boss, aren't you so talented and cool? Yes, I can not drive a car in a straight line. Sixty thousand, three stars, coolio. Already got a new shopping mall. Nice. 
Right, that's that. Where do we want to be now? Got to try and make sure I don't miss anything. Did anything spawn down here? I think it's just those two. Yeah. We'll sort of do that and then we'll see where we get at. I think that'll be it after that though. I'll patrol the map once more in a minute just to make sure we've hit everything but I'm fairly certain that is it. Which is a bit of a worry because that means I do have to I do need to go and grind for some uh, fans at some point. I need to do like a championship or something quickly. Again I'm not going to do it on camera because I'm not going to bore you with it. And because the championships are really fucking boring. There we go. Two stars. I'll take two. That's good enough. At least they put the speed trap thing down there, so this one isn't too hard to... Engage, and also, thank God, it's a dry, normal, good race. Yay. Ugh. Take them back to the start. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Wait, what is that? Poison Ivy. That is an interesting Aston. Um, that does bring me on to an interesting point, by the way. Now that we have six channel members, that does mean we get more emotes. So, uh, if there's ev if people who are channel members, if there's one emote that you've always wanted, hit us up, let us know. Preferably something that's already in the Discord channel, because we can just sort of bring that over pretty verbatim. It's an interesting F40. I don't know if I like it with the military clean. It looks kind of cool, I guess. It's different. I don't know what Poison Ivy is. Sean Michaels is a fucking emote. Check your list. Or Swan Michaels, sorry. Brawn? A Brawn emote would be good, yeah. Yes. Well, the only ones that are coming to my head right now is we could have Exhibit from the Pimp My Ride game, because that's one of my personal favourites. Um, Brawn's always a good shout. We've also got, um, there's another one as well. Just follow law as well. All good ideas. Jeff Gordon, yeah. That'd be useful for when GT5 finally happens. I say finally happens. Watch this space. Yeah, he, he, Chaser, you missed it. We had a bit of a laughing fit over Jeff Gordon for a few hours uh, last week, I think it was. When's GT5? Listen, don't start that. I'm just saying, watch this space. Not this space, obviously, because this space is finishing off Forza Horizon 4 tonight, but, you know, free, sorry. Don't hit the cones. Oh god, I hate this song. I need to skip it immediately. This song just gaze up and otherwise perfect album. As long as I'll find these videos one day and think I like legitimately have something against gay people or something. I don't, just to point that out. It does look very Ford Mustangy now that I look at him. Alright, get rid of this shit. Right, Give me not like gay shit. Ugh. More XP. We need 20,700 fans. Hmm. How many fans do the championship give you? <laughs> I don't get that far. 
I hated them before you, haha. <laughs> Anyways. It did introduce the click type R to everyone. Right. Um. I think that's it. I'm trying to see if there's... Because Giara Valley spread sort of far and wide, so I'm just making sure it didn't trigger anything off down here. Uh, No, not by the looks of it. So, uh, yeah, that's it for this episode of Forza Horizon 3. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time we're going to be taking a look at upgrading the Surfers Paradise Festival to level 5 and finishing that off. So join us for that. Until then... Thanks, me. Farewell.